Okay, uh, again, apologies for audio levels. Apparently my mic is just locked at 100% volume. <laughs> I promise you everything is set to 2% on the settings. Fuck knows what's going on. It's a Corsair headset. It was totally fine and now it's not. Anyway, spoilers, we're fighting Devastator. Who plays Bumblebee. And only Bumblebee. There's uh, Powered Up Optimus wearing his uh, dead friend's parts. Because that's not fucking creepy. God, you should have let me make these movies. I'd be so good at it. Apparently Bumblebee has to take out Devastator alone. The only threat to mankind. The largest Decepticon ever seen has attacked Cairo. But the city will not go undefended. We will confront this Devastator and destroy him. Ah, Devastator's a he. I don't remember this. I can't imagine it's going to be any fun. God, that looks shit. That looks just shit. any parts of it that I can hurt? He's got a health bar. Ah, oh, there are other Decepticons. This is more screen time than he had in the film. Oh, you can shoot his missiles down. There's a Decepticon behind me. Yep, more screen time than he had in the film. Kill Devastator. I've got to do this in five minutes, apparently. Fuck off. Why can't I be Optimus Prime with the jet? Ah, uh, this is not right. Okay, now he's telling me. Yeah, 
If the combatants could just fuck off for five seconds, I'd appreciate it. Nope. Okay. Yeah, in the film they just shot him with a railgun, which makes sense. I think there's a constructor con behind me. Fuck's sake. Oh, well. Fucking get out of my way. Right. I need to be in front of him, I think. Whoa! That's a combatant of some kind. This is frustrating. Fight the Decepticon mooks or... There's a Combaticum behind me. Whoa, okay. All right. Go away, long haul. Um, I'll shoot him in the brain. How do you know that? I now need to shoot this dude in the head. While well, not being killed by the long haul repaints. Okay. Why is Bumblebee doing this? Well, this is 
of frustration. Well, you fuck off, long haul. Ah. That's the same thing, the same way that it just died in the movie, and you're like, wouldn't they just untransform from it? Like, only the head dude died there. Whatever. Whatever. Will you get to play as Devastator in the uh, Decepticon campaign? No. Not a chance. So now they fly from Egypt back to the Once Nest headquarters. The Devastator is destroyed. Dangerous as he was, we've still yet to discover the Fallen or the Harvester he searches for. The threat to Earth is far from over. We displayed great skill in our last mission. I hope to see similar shooting in our next as well. A space bridge has just opened above the Great Pyramid. Our enemy, the Fallen, has arrived. I imagine that's the final mission, is it? Uh... Upgrade that. You can't you can't do damage or anything. Which is annoying. Just put the rest of it in the overheat. Fire for as for as long as possible. <clears throat> Rise of the Fallen. The Fallen stands atop the Great Pyramid of Cheops. Avoid his attacks, destroy his allies, then destroy the Fallen himself. I remember this being ridiculously hard. This, you will also have the exact same boss fight in the Decepticon campaign for some reason. But now we get to play as Optimus wearing his dead friend. You can also play as any character once you've unlocked the requirements for every mission. But we're only playing through once. Because this game is terrible. <laughs> Oi, I can't believe... Just, I can't... Do anything to the levels on my mic. It's he awful. Stand beside the machine that would harvest the sun. We will destroy both, or be destroyed ourselves. The conversations between Transformers in the War Room are directly related to your performance. Hopefully, they're going to be funny when we do the Decepticon one. My ability is a shield. There he is. Doesn't he look crap? And he could teleport. And he's not going to go down in two seconds like he did in the film. He's going to make us fight for it. He's throwing stuff at me. Oh, this controls horribly. Never again will Decepticons lack men of God. We shall grow the universe, feeding from its stars. Incoming! Uh. There he is. Ah, yes, I remember this now. He does AoE shit and then says, Cease this mindless attack! Yeah, now he gets mooks. 
to make it even more tedious. Uh, Optimus Prime has crap weapons. How is this a thing? So, I hope you realise what the pattern is here. I don't even know where he is. There's Long Haul. Or whatever he's called. Oh, there's two of them. I have no idea where the Fallen is. I tell you, the flight controls are awful. So he's going to throw tanks at me, okay. Where is he? Oh, this is terrible. He's come down. Incoming! I'm trying to... There we go. Cease this mindless attack. Cease this mindless attack! And he just says it over and over again. It's really disappointing. Where'd he go? Ah, oh, he summoned Mooks in again. I think Devastator was a, a more interesting fight. I have no idea where he is. Ah, oh, there he is. There you are. He's calling for help. What's he doing now? Is it Mooks again? Oh, he's brought in some Seekers. Hey, Thundercracker.
There's one right below me. Uh, these Decepticons are dumber than Skywarp! So yeah, he's not exactly a great boss. Yo, watch that man, you're taking some serious damage. I, I can actually hit the Fallen here. My own brothers could not stop me. Yeah, but now you're old. That's got to be. Even for an Autobot. It's alright, I shall do the... Uh... I really don't want to die. He's gone again. Why did they put Sheer LaBeouf in this as well, to mock you? Where's he gone? Is he over here? There he is. There he is. Are we going to pull his face off? Because that's something a reasonable person would do. Probably, yeah. No, he just stabbed him in the head. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. You were terrible. Yes, I was, but I, I cannot describe how awful that flying prime controls. Like, oh, it's dreadful. It really is. I'm hoping these upgrades carry over when I do Decepticon, but who knows? <clears throat> the ancients are avenged. The brother who betrayed them is no more. What ancients? Yet, what brother? Remains not on Earth, at least. My telemetry indicates our nemesis is now aboard a Decepticon transport in a distant galaxy. And Jetfire, who I am wearing. Our planets, our nope. races, united by a history long forgotten, yet still to be discovered. No, not, a, not a word about Jetfire. I am Optimus Prime, and I send this message so that our paths will be remembered always. For in those memories, we live on. Feel 
tingling on your skin? It's cool, isn't it? We are built differently. I find the sun's rays rather warm. Oh, yeah, you know, that's, that's what I'm... You know what, never mind. It's cool. It's extremely cool, trust me. I always have, Sam. And I always will. Until you got dropped, so they could put Mr. Mark Wahlberg beats a guy for being Asian. Oh, the Unicron in the new one looks awful. I'm assuming it's Unicron. Beanox. Beanox Studios, was it? Can I skip this? Special thanks. Okay, the Xbox button makes the screen flash. Um... Nothing? I can get the mouse on screen. Right. Well, in that case, that was the Autobot campaign to Transformers Revenge of the Fallen PC version. Um, yeah, I don't really have much more to say than that. Uh, like I said, we're having computer troubles. Uh, Unicron looks awful in the new one. I, I'm assuming it's Unicron. It's a giant planet that has, like, tentacles that stick in Earth. I always thought they were never going to do Unicron because it would look rubbish, and yet there's something exactly like Unicron that looks kind of rubbish. But you can never get the scale of Unicron right, though, because, like, there's a really good one in the, the, the DC comics, the Furman Wildman comics, when they have the big showdown, Unicron versus the Children of Primus, and he's picking up Galvatron. And you can see Galvatron when he's picking him up, whereas in actuality, Galvatron, who's like a 30-foot robot, would be like a speck of dust. And you just can't get the scale right, because you've got to show the people, you've got to show the giant fucking robot, and then you've got to show the fucking god-sized robot that eats planets. And, and poor old Arbalus. Kranix always gets a shout-out, but there's, there's no love for Arbalus. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. Yeah.